Hey everyone. Today we are going to make this summer t-shirt designed together using Photoshop and Illustrator. This is going to be an advanced tutorial, but feel free to follow the video even if you are not an experienced designer. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button to receive notifications for future tutorials. Now let's start. Yeah. Yeah. First, I wanted to use an image with palms for my design. So, I searched for a high-resolution image on the internet. I downloaded the image and opened it in Photoshop. I then used the Blend If tool to remove the background colors of the image as much as I can. I also used it to fade most of the main colors of the image as I wanted to create my own color effects. On a new layer, I started to add green paint to the palm leaves. After that, I changed the blending mode to color burn. This created a sharp green color to the image. On the same layer, I added brown color to the bodies of the palms. Using the color range selection, I started to select the remaining blues from the background and delete it. Then, I created a solid color layer beneath the image to add a light blue color as my sky background. However, I found that the palm's bodies are becoming darker than I wanted. So, I created a mask for the solid color layer and started to delete the areas of the palm bodies to regain the brown colors of the bodies. On a new layer, I use the brush tool to create dissolved brush effects at the back of the trees. I have also played with the blending mode to create the effect I wanted. Finally, I merged all the layers into one layer and dragged it to my illustrator. I traced the image and hit the expand button to convert the image to a vector. Then, I used one of the grunge frames that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica to create the distressed edge effect. To do that, I placed the frame file in the transparency panel and start adjusting it. Thank you. 
Then, I started to add the main text. It is important to pick your fonts carefully as it can give a completely different effect to your design. I use the wrap options to create an effect for the main text. I have also used the offset path option and the transparency panel to create this outline around the text. Then, I decided to add some flowers to my design. I used these graphics from Creative Fabrica as well. In the description, you will find a $1 trial subscription for one month if you are interested to try Creative Fabrica. Then I started to add additional text to the design. I created an ellipse and used the envelope distort option to create this shape. I added more text and shapes on my design. Finally and after grouping all design elements together, I added a distressed effect to the whole design through the transparency panel to create this nice torn effect on my design. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Also, feel free to ask about anything in the video through the comments section below. Thanks for watching.